Hello, tested members and everybody else. Adam Savage here in my cave, and I'm answering some questions posed by tested patrons. Uh, and today's question comes from Elliot Thomas. Adam, he says in all caps, I can't believe I've never thought to ask this. Do you partake in Lego mocks? M-O-C. I had to look that up. Uh, it means my own creation. And I did not know that. Um, and then they, if so, what did I build? The answer is I have not made my own Lego creation. I mean, yeah, when I was a kid, I made Death Stars and play sets and I put secret doors and secret compartments in every interior space I built with Legos as a, as a, as a middle schooler and, and early teen and mid teen and then late teen and then young adult. <laughs> uh, but sorting my Legos early on in COVID, there's now this beautiful stack of bins over in my storage space. And I have been, I've been leaning, leaning towards them. And at some point in the next few weeks or few months, I'm gonna bring them all back over here and I am gonna make my own Lego creation because it's time. I mean, ridiculous. Now I've sorted them by color and the Lego Technics. And by the way, I found a whole new bag of Lego Technics that I had held back from my kids so that they wouldn't destroy them when chewing on all the gears. So there's even more sorting to do, but that's beside the point. The main point is I plan to make my own Lego creation um, because there's the, the first home-built Lego creation I saw it was the very first time I went to a Maker Faire. I'm not even sure when that was at this point, the mid-aughts. And uh, I went, I got I toured through the, the, the facility and I went through the Lego pavilion and there was somebody who using all gray Legos had built the most beautiful, they built a cathedral at Chartres. Um, and with the flying buttresses and everything, it was, there's something almost intoxicating the first time you see a Lego creation like that up close. Because it's definitely, like, it's clearly not something Lego would necessarily have released. I know they're doing that now more with the architectural models, although they could release some bigger architectural models, although I get the whole price point thing. It's probably not worth their time. But looking at this thing, this, this perfect architectural model of a church that's about this big, it was so inspiring. Um... I also, I collect, I have a folder full of pictures of Lego creations I think are amazing. Uh, and we have some plans to build some other people's designs. Always there are more plans to build some because I love doing that. Um, but I really love the idea of going all the way down that rabbit hole of the problem solving because Lego, Lego modeling is not just about Modeling, it is also an engineering, it's, it's not just a visual skill, it's not just aesthetic, it's engineering as well. And that's what makes Lego so great. You have to think, you have to think like a Lego. You have to, you have to imagine the, the structural forces on the parts that you're, that you're putting together. And you, like, I, there are certainly like low security ways you can assemble stuff, but if I've learned anything from my Lego friends, um, it is that like the first solution isn't necessarily the, the, the final one. They'll, they'll keep on iterating to figure out better ways to achieve the constructions that they're doing. That, that, that process speaks very deeply to me. And so, uh, in short, this is a quickie answer. Uh, no, I have not made my own Lego correct, collect. I have not made my own Lego creation in well over 35 years. Yeah. Uh, but I plan to. You waited all that time. What is that? Four minutes just for me to say, it's in the works. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me for this Q&A. Uh, as always, tested patrons, submit your questions and I will keep answering them. Stay safe, wear a mask, and I will see you next time.